There's a powerful practice used by great kings, emperors, and nobility of the ancient Far East, a secret knowledge they used to their advantage to achieve supreme abundance, prosperity, and good fortune. And once achieved, they used this knowledge to help them maintain that abundance, to expand their kingdoms and empires far and wide. This ancient practice was all about energy, an invisible yet potent energy that allowed those who knew of it to orient themselves with their surroundings, to enhance their life, health, and wealth. And what was the key to unlocking this power? Frequency. They amplified the frequencies that were good and diffused those that were harmful, even deflecting them against their enemies. This practice and its knowledge is still being used today by more people than ever. You might have heard of it. It's called feng shui. You probably associate feng shui with interior design or architecture, something maybe you've read about in a magazine or blog. But feng shui is more than just about good interior design or the placement of objects. Much more than that, in fact. Feng shui can unleash your manifestation abilities, allowing you to attract all the things you want in your life. The question is, what's stopping you from accelerating your manifesting power? Have you been feeling stuck? Have you been experiencing abundance blocks or feeling like you're lacking purpose? Then you might need to ask yourself, are your intentions and environment oriented in the right way to achieve the greater success, abundance, good fortune, love, and wellness that you deserve? Good feng shui is critical to achieving your goals. It could be the secret key to your success. Without it, you could be stuck in an abundance deficit, a frequency of lack. You'll encounter more bad luck, experience more unnecessary stress or anxiety. You could be facing lower productivity, financial misfortune, or even poorer health. There's no reason to be sabotaging your success like this. It's time to root out your bad feng shui. The missing link you've been looking for may just be rooted in this ancient 4,000-year-old science of feng shui. In the next few minutes, we'll explore this time-tested practice and unravel some of its knowledge. We'll show you how modern science builds upon this ancient know-how and how you can use it to your advantage like never before. To better understand how you can balance your own energies, let's take a look at the history of feng shui. Feng shui is a traditional practice which aims to use energy forces to harmonize people with their surrounding environment. It is based on the observation of heavenly time and earthly space. Literally translated from Chinese, it means wind water, making it clear just how much the practice bases itself on the flow of natural energy. The Chinese believe that this powerful energy traversed the surface of the earth in paths and lines, and that by intersecting these lines at certain times and places, one could harness the energy to make use of it. You're probably already familiar with this energy, but it's more popularly named Qi. Until the invention of magnets, which allowed for the development of compasses, Feng Shui made use of astronomy to determine connections between humanity and the universe. Dating back thousands of years, Feng Shui was used for such purposes as aligning doors and windows for maximum sun exposure, deciding the most advantageous time to build a city, or how to orient palaces and tombs, to name just a few examples. As you can see then, Feng Shui is deeply correlated with the understanding of cosmology and our placement in the universe, particularly here on Earth. But while these ideas are ancient in origin, they are not ancient in practice. Just like the Chinese, Japanese and Korean cultures have their own variations of Feng Shui, systems to harmonize energy with one's surroundings. In Korea, this is called Feng Su Juri. Koreans believe that energy flows across their lands from Mount Baekdu, traveling outward like a nervous system. These tributaries form the source of the Korean unity and vitality. When the Japanese invaded Korean territory during the Second World War, Part of their attack strategy was to block this energy's flow. They drove giant iron stakes into the Korean countryside in an attempt to weaken the energy and vitality of the Korean people so they could be more easily conquered. After the war, Japan refused to tell the Koreans where all these stakes had been placed. In response, Korean leaders encouraged their citizens to take up mountain climbing and hiking as national pastimes. Many of the iron stakes have since been found but some Koreans still claim a sense of unease in certain regions, where it is suspected that these stakes still exist. Here's a more recent example. Have you ever seen the Hong Kong skyline? Perhaps you've noticed that many of the city's unique skyscrapers have holes in them. If you have, you probably thought that they were just an interesting design feature, or maybe they have something to do with mitigating wind force. In fact, those holes are a product of feng shui in action. 
modern practitioners believe that such large buildings disrupt natural flows of energy over the land, particularly positive energy, which is represented by the dragon. Dragons are said to travel daily from their mountain homes down to the sea to drink. Those giant holes in the buildings are, you guessed it, passages for the dragons to travel through, allowing their positive energy to make its traditional journey. You can see then by these examples that feng shui can be used for positive or negative purposes. And this duality forms one of the main pillars of the practice, polarity. Polarity is the opposition and intertwining of energies, often referred to in feng shui as yin and yang. One exerts energy, the other receives it. Feng shui seeks to align cities, sites, objects, and buildings with yin-yang force fields in order to balance out the energy for living beings. Another key pillar of feng shui is qi. Qi, as we've discussed, is the flow of positive and negative energy, or life force. Its harmonizing is the essential role of feng shui. And finally, bagua. Bagua is the name of a collection of ancient cosmological symbols that represent the principles of reality. Think of the bagua as an energy map. It allows the practitioners to evaluate the energy field of any given environment and therefore gives them the ability to regulate and modify the energy for best results. Feng Shui is a system of energy activation designed to focus you and your environment in the right direction so you can increase your powers of attraction and neutralize the negative forces in your surroundings. In the modern world, however, it isn't always easy to achieve control over your energy or that of your surroundings. For example, did you build your own home? Probably not. You have no way of altering its geographic orientation. How about your work life? Did you choose your co-workers? It's unlikely. So you have limited control over the energy they bring into your life. In so many ways, your ability to harmonize the energy around you is decided in whole or in part by external circumstances. To understand how this energy system can be used to its maximum benefit, it's important to understand energy itself. So what is energy? When you boil it down, energy is just frequency. Waves of invisible force traveling through space and time. We are constantly affected by frequencies of all kinds, from the devices we use, to the sun's rays, from inside our bodies at the cellular level, and even from the earth itself. Some frequencies are bad for us, others are good. The good ones are key to our well-being in fact. The ancient Chinese, the ancient Egyptians, and so many others, they all knew this. Long before modern science developed detailed explanations for the physics behind it, ancient civilizations understood how it worked in principle how it impacted us, both positively and negatively. How it could be used as a tool to improve our well-being, health, and even our ability to manifest our desires. But modern understandings do indeed help us make use of this ancient wisdom in more practical ways. It was famed German physicist Winfried Otto Schumann who discovered that the Earth itself generates a resonant frequency of 7.83 Hz. This was a remarkable discovery because this is the exact frequency found in our own minds. The alpha waves of our human brain resonates at 7.83 Hz. Frequencies influence our immune systems. They regulate our well-being. In 1964, German scientist Rutger Weaver began experimenting with this. He and his team had an underground bunker constructed where volunteers would reside for various periods of time, unaffected by the frequency energy that exists on Earth's surface. In the absence of this energy, Weaver's test subjects began feeling ill experiencing headaches and their sleep cycles were thrown off. To see what would happen if above ground conditions were replicated in the bunker, Weaver and his team introduced energy fields without telling the test subjects. With these generators emitting the 7.83 Hz frequency, the volunteers experienced immediate improvement. Their anxiety, headaches, and emotional distress either disappeared or decreased. These studies forever linked the connection between human health and the natural frequency of the planet. In essence, they prove something practitioners of feng shui have known for 4,000 years, that the energy of humanity needs to be in harmony with the environment. Israeli American scientist Ixhak Bentov put it like this. He believed that illness was nothing more than out of tune behavior within the body. When part of the body is out of tune, he suggested that its frequency has been altered, causing it to vibrate out of rhythm. By reintroducing a harmonizing frequency, the proper tune could be reconfigured returning balance and well-being. In other words, by focusing your energy and that of surroundings in the right frequency, just as the ancients did, you can begin to channel those energies to your benefit. You can eliminate abundance blocks and open doors to prosperity, enhance your life, health, and wealth. 
Feng Shui's principle of direction, of positioning yourself in time and space with the right energy, is supported by modern science. Frequencies from outer space are known to influence life here on Earth. The planets and stars all have their unique frequencies. During certain astronomical events like planetary alignments, life here on Earth reacts to that energy from afar. Ancient storytellers have told us that our fate is in the stars. They knew something fundamental about the invisible energies that surround us. They understood that our behavior and emotions are impacted by how we position ourselves in alignment with the right frequencies. It's cosmic feng shui in action, and knowing how to read that energy has unlocked doors and opportunities for all those who have been wise enough to understand it. It worked for the great rulers of history. The practice of intersecting the flow of energy at certain times and places was considered critical. The imperial palace in the Forbidden City has four cardinal gates, each opening outward in a different direction. This design was purposeful. By orienting the gates in four directions, the emperor's energy would radiate outward across his kingdom. But likewise, the energy of his land and peoples could reach him as well, allowing him and his spiritual advisors to harmonize the qi and master the polarity of the yin and yang. The pyramids of Egypt were built using variations of this harmonizing principle, carefully oriented to maximize the resonance of the energies of the cosmos. Their alignment with certain constellations while still retaining a true north orientation is so precise that modern science still doesn't know exactly who built them or how their knowledge was so advanced for the time, and their advanced geometric design suggests that the builders were aware of the energy flows of the region. In what is now modern-day Britain, Stonehenge was constructed by Neolithic peoples as a sacred burial site, specifically aligned with the sunset and sunrise of the solstices. In this way, the site served as an energy portal, a central hub to which other ancient British sites can be linked by intersecting lines. The Mayans and Incas of South America aligned their monuments along energy paths as well. The Incas called theirs keques, or spiritual paths, and built all their holy shrines along the paths to take advantage of the energy flows. The ancient Chinese called these flows Long Mei, or dragon paths. It was along these paths that so-called direction men, who were tasked with mapping out the dragon paths, decided what sort of barriers to erect and where to erect them in order to take advantage of good energies and defuse the bad ones. The direction they face, their shape, and even their size is all dictated by these invisible lines that stretch all around the planet. By mastering this skill of placement and directionality, energies could be harmonized, enabling psychic abilities, physical wellness, abundance, spiritual enlightenment, fertility of body and land, and so much more. In the West, we call these paths ley lines. This terminology was developed in the early 1900s by Alfred Watkins, who believed that straight tracks or alignments could be drawn between various historical structures and prominent landmarks, marking specific Earth energies and astronomical functions. Perhaps even that these pathways served as ancient markers to guide future civilizations or visitors from beyond our planet, so they too could find balance and harmony through energy. In essence, knowing and tuning your spatial direction can fundamentally alter your perception of the world around you and give you insight into how best to make use of your surroundings. As Feng Shui master Marie Diamond says, your environment affects your law of attraction. By modulating your mindset with the mindset that your environment is creating, you can control the energies around you by understanding the direction of their flow and orienting yourself accordingly. Change your frequency, change your reality. So the question arises then, what if technology could help you attain the results of feng shui without you having to be geographically or cosmologically oriented in a natural feng shui? Imagine if you can generate qi with a device without needing an expensive interior designer or home renovation. Imagine you can generate good qi exactly where you are with the power of frequency anywhere, anytime. Changing your frequency is what feng shui is all about. External adjustments can cause internal shifts the goal is to accumulate and live within healthy, fertile qi energy by removing or mitigating bad qi energy from your surroundings. A failure to harmonize and balance these energies can actively sabotage your success and well-being. By using the principles of feng shui, you can create frequencies of abundance, accelerate your manifesting power, and attract greater success, prosperity, love, and wellness. You can orient yourself in the right direction for you. Thankfully, there's a new revolutionary technology available today that can replicate good feng shui without expensive renovations, moving to a new location, or changing jobs. After all, like we've covered earlier, 
You can only control so much of the environment around you at any given moment. And we don't all have the time to become feng shui masters with the power to recognize every dragon path or ley line we cross. Introducing the Aura Coils, ambient energy purifiers for home or business. With a full range of coils to choose from, you can now tap into the power of ancient feng shui easily and automatically. Now you never have to worry about seeking out better energy flow. You can literally just turn on good feng shui right where you are. Our Oracle devices are beautifully designed. They're works of art, so there's no need to hide them away. They can be displayed in your home or workplace as decorative pieces. Their beauty conceals their awesome power. Available with 24 karat gold plating and sacred geometry, each device is crafted to maximize abundance and attraction. Available with sapphire gemstones, our aura coils are engineered to encourage meditation, protect against negative energy, and promote calmness and magnetic attraction. Our aura coils are perfectly suited to take advantage of our proprietary feng shui frequency collection. These frequencies have been carefully designed and tested over many years to emulate the results of positive feng shui. We have frequencies to boost your qi energy, balance work and relationships, protect you against bad luck, remove blockages, clean your auras, promote relaxation, and so much more. These frequencies can be transmitted and amplified using any one of our range of innovated energy coils. If you're looking to manage energy fields of a single room or office, there's our 14-inch aura coil. For wider whole home and office space use, there's our larger 24-inch models. And for the ultimate frequency magnification, there's our flagship Aura Coil 2, finely crafted with 24 karat gold plating and precious gemstones. All of our Aura Coils feature sacred geometric designs and NASA-inspired pulse electromagnetic field technology. Using our Aura Coils together with our Feng Shui Frequency Collection, you'll be able to align yourself and your loved ones, colleagues, or clients with harmonized energy fields using the power of frequency, remove negative energy, improve mood, create emotional balance, raise positive spiritual energies, attract prosperity, enhance your aura and atmosphere, and so much more. Do you want to experience the world's most powerful feng shui frequencies? Then apply to join David Wong's inner circle. Featuring an exclusive collection of the world's most powerful abundance frequencies. These include money attraction, abundance attraction, manifestation amplification, spiritual protection, success programming, and our combined frequencies for longevity, wealth, and wisdom. Experience deep spiritual connection, heightened intuition, enhanced manifestation, refined mental clarity, increased vitality, deep calmness, and exuberant joy. Everything you'll need to optimize your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being through feng shui technology. Inner Circle membership also includes advanced training and coaching, private closed-door meetings, and early prototype access to our suite of frequency amplifying tools. Abundance awaits. It's time to unlock the positive energy flow in your home. With the power of aura coils and our feng shui frequency collection, you can enhance your life force, happiness, and wealth anywhere, anytime. Transform yourself 1% a day. You're only a frequency away. Visit auracoil.com to learn more.